Hey, what is going on guys? Uh, it's Kate up here and in this video, I'm going to talk about laptops like desktop computer technology for graphic designers. So as a UI and UX designer in 2021, does it make sense to buy a very powerful laptop to run your graphic design task to perform your work for your clients, for your school, whatever? Does it make sense to spend a lot of money to buy very powerful laptops? And that is what we're going to talk about today. And the reason why I picked this topic is because, you know, Apple just has two new laptops launched, right? Like the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and M1 Max chip. And those are very expensive uh, computer machine and also very, very powerful. But do you really need that kind of power to run just, you know, basic normal design task, right? As a graphic designer, designing banners, designing poster, designing UI and UX. I'm not talking about you know, designer that design animations like like three D arts and stuff like that. That is, you know, not in the scope of this video. But if you just, you know, a graphic designers, right? Does it really make sense to buy a very expensive laptop? And before I even get into all the details, I'm just gonna tell you the answer, which is no. You don't need a very powerful machine in 2021. But I'm gonna tell you the reason why. So a little bit history, right? So back in. Uh, I would say like 10 years ago when I was still in school and the only way to perform design task is definitely running a local design software. So that could be uh, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe, um, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Fireworks, whatever you use it, right, to do this kind of design task. And you know that this kind of locally installed uh, application already has, already is a pretty big file size. And whenever you're designing something within this kind of software, your file size, not your application size, your file size can get very, very large. And I remember, you know, if I'm designing a website, right, with a couple of pages and then also with a lot of images in it, then my file size will be really huge, right? Sometimes the file size could be like 400 map, map and or even a gigabyte, right? So when you're running a, running a file like that, right, opening a gigabyte file, if your computer is not powerful enough, like doesn't have enough RAM, then it just won't open the file, right? Or you will crash all the time. And think about like, you don't just open Photoshop at the same time. You have to, you know, maybe run and uh, maybe you have to run Illustrator on the side as well, right? Then if you're running two applications, then you would definitely crack, right? Because your computer is just not fast enough or powerful enough to handle design task. So back in the days, you know, we would try to buy a very, very powerful machine just to run this kind of software applications, right? But fast forward now to 2021, and if you haven't noticed, right, the design trend is very different or the trend of application is very different, right? Starting from, I think starting from Google, um, Google has, you know, uh, uh, Word documents, right? The Microsoft Word before is a local software applications, but Google moved it to online, right? So right now when you're running your uh, uh, Word documents, you can just run it online. Um, or if you are running your Excel sheets right before you have like, you know, Microsoft Excel, Right now, Google has Excel online. So this kind of software is in the clouds, right? Everything is stored in the cloud. Doesn't use any of your memory storage in your local computer. And same as design right now, right? Starting from Sketch and then Sketch is outdated and then come Figma. Figma is an online web design tool right now, right? And if you haven't know Figma, which I've been talking about it all the time on my design channel. And Figma is basically a design tool that you can create, post a design, you can create, you know, even like typography, drawing, stuff like that, right? But it's mainly focused on UI and UX on Figma. And if you look at my screen, um, you know, I have like all of these client work here and all of these pages, right? It runs super smoothly and it's on the web, it's on the website, right? And the good thing about, you know, what a web-based or cloud-based application is it doesn't cost a lot of your computer processing power to run this kind of software because it's on the cloud. It's just like a website, just like YouTube, right? Opening YouTube probably doesn't cost a lot of memory to run that, right? Because it's on the website, it doesn't cost anything to store file locally in your computer as well. So you don't have to open a software to run this kind of thing locally in your computer, right? So it just costs a lot less processing power to run a software like that. So um, good thing is, you know, it costs a lot less of your memory in your computer to run that. It doesn't store any file, so your storage is gonna be a, a big saver, right? Right now, my, my laptop usually doesn't even cost 100 megabyte um, to a gigabyte to uh, to kind of store all of my files, right? Because it's just a lot less file that I've been saving my computer right now because everything is in the cloud. And it's just not just Figma. Like a lot of different design tools right now, like a lot of uh, 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 collaboration tools, right? Wireframing tools and basically a lot of software they're trying to move online right now. So that is a trend. And I think this trend is not going to stop anytime soon. Um, so 
back to the 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 answer, right? No, I don't think in 2021 you need a very powerful machine to run this kind of design software because it's all in the cloud right now, and that is running super smoothly, even with a less powerful laptop. And the 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 the, the final thing is final thought is okay. So you don't need a very powerful machine to run your design task. So what machine would you suggest, right? So personally, I have this uh, laptop right here that is a 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro, and that is you know two years ago. But also last year, I bought another uh, MacBook uh, M1, a uh, MacBook Air with an M1 chip, and that computer laptop is even more powerful than the 16-inch. And whenever I go travel, whenever I go work in a coffee shop. I just use that MacBook Air with the M1 chip. So you can look at it right. Let me let me pull it up on Apple.com. Just give me one sec, right? So if you look at my screen here again, so this MacBook Air and the price of this MacBook Air, exactly the same model that I bought last year, right? It only costs $9.99 to get into this laptop computer. And I would say that every single time when I use this machine, right? It flies by very, very quickly. When I'm running this browser based um cloud-based application, no problem at all, right? It runs super extremely fast. So do you need a very powerful laptop just for your design work? If you're a graphic designer, you are a new designer, I would definitely say no. Just buy whatever cheapest one you can afford. And this M1 is very affordable. Like you probably don't need a very big storage in your computer as well because everything is online. So this base model, I would say it's good to go for your graphic design work. And so this is what the video is about. Like if you're thinking about what kind of laptop should you buy uh, for your graphic design work? If you're students, if you are in a country that doesn't have a lot of, you know, like 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 if you're short of money, then I would say the MacBook uh, Air with M1 chip is a very good choice. Probably the best bang for your buck, um, if you ask me, right? So that is all for this video. And if you th if you have any questions about you know technologies and laptop computer, I do kind of look into this kind of. Thing. and feel free to leave a comment down section in the comment in the section down below uh, leave a question in the comment section down below I'll try to get back to you guys and that's it for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel as well and I'll talk to you guys next time cheers